I'm Ramon Farias. I go, attend Stanislaus State. I'm part of the men's basketball team. I play center slash forward. I um, am studying in for a general business degree. I'm originally from the Bay Area, Martinez, California, and I gra- I went to College Park High School. And with your business degree, what are your future plans? Um, I would like to do something with sports, and then I don't know how, but like just uh, be able to do sports and then have like international business somehow. I'm not sure yet. Well, I th- feel like it's going to change like when I get closer to like my senior year. Yeah, definitely. Over the years you're in college, things change and you go different paths and whatnot. Since you are a basketball player, if you could play any sport that wasn't basketball, what would you play and why? Um, soccer, for sure, at least soccer, because I grew up a lot around soccer with my parents. Where they're from, soccer is like a huge thing, so it's like, if it's not basketball, it's always soccer that we're watching. Why did you choose Stanislaus State? Um, I feel like I had a really good connection with the coaches and I like wanted to stay close to home. It's like not too far, but not too close. So I feel like it's perfect for me. Do you have a interesting story that you could tell me and everyone that will be watching this that maybe no one really knows about you or a funny story that you have? Well, something interesting, I would say that I, um, I have residency in the country of Uruguay in South America because that's where my dad's from. So this summer, I was going to go play for their national team for like two two months, I think. I was going to go down there and play, but then that got canceled because of COVID. So I feel like something interesting that was going to happen, but that could happen like in the future. That's super cool. That's really interesting. That's a really good opportunity that you would have for yourself in the future. Yeah. So what were some of your favorite TV shows growing up? Um, I loved Breaking Bad. <laughs> that was like my favorite by far in like middle school. Or like like when I was like a lot younger, I would watch like River Monsters. I was more into like the animal stuff. Or I would be like watching South Park. I watched a lot of South Park and like Family Guy. River Monsters was always a crazy show to watch. That was definitely yeah. <laughs> one that I like to watch too. <laughs> Do you have a specific pregame pump up song that you like to listen to or a song that you think will get you pumped up before you play games? Um, I like to listen to um, Ain't Live and Ride by Juice World in Future. I feel like that one like really gets me going. Or like some Playboy Cardi. I feel like those two really get me going. And then I'm like ready to go play. That's awesome. Did you learn anything new over your summer break? Um. Not really. I mean, it, it's been like more on a pause, honestly. Like, I've been like, just like working out, I feel like I've been learning like more about my body and like what I'm capable of doing because I just had like so much time by myself that I could like really like work on my game and then like my body physically. So I feel like just getting to know myself better, like physically and mentally is what I like I learned over the summer. Cool, that's really awesome to learn more about yourself and everything. So do you have a role model in your life and why are they your role model? I would have to say my dad, my dad and my mom, because they've sacrificed a lot for me with like education, um, basketball, of course, it takes up like a lot of time when they could be doing other things for like their own pleasure, but. They want to help me out and accomplish my, help me accomplish my dreams and goals in life. So I really look up to them for helping me through this journey. So speaking of people, if you could have coffee or lunch with anyone, dead or alive, who would you have coffee or lunch with? I would say Luis Suarez. He's like my favorite athlete. Not like related to basketball, but for soccer. It's just like, I really like soccer. And I I feel he's like one of my favorite players. So being able to sit down with him for like lunch, I'd really, that'd be like a dream. That's really cool. So what is your favorite professional sport and your favorite team to watch? It sounds like you like soccer a lot and basketball. So I'm interested. What is your favorite sport to watch? 
Um, basketball. We usually, I usually watch basketball like whenever it's on all the time. And then my favorite team's the Warriors. I got to represent the Bay Area. So they're my favorite team. And then my favorite player on the Warriors is probably like, I really like Clay Thompson in his game for how consistent he is. Yeah, for sure. What is your most common name or nickname that people call you by? Um, big fella, probably because I'm, because I'm so tall. My high school coach gave me that. So then like from there, it's always been like big fella. Yeah. You going to carry that on to your current team and your coaches have you call you that? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you have a favorite movie? I would say Pulp Fiction by Quentin Tarantino. I really like that movie. I've watched it probably like 10 times. I just like the whole aesthetic of it. And if you could have a closet full of one item, what would your closet be full of? Probably shoes. I have like an, I'm like obsessed with shoes. I have like 15 pairs. I think I'm trying to like build my collection more. So I feel like a closet full of shoes would be, would be perfect. Soda or sparkling water? Soda. Flip flops or sneakers? Flip flops. Baseball or football? Football. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Fall or spring? Fall. The beach or the mountains? The mountains. Reading or watching? Watching. Driving or flying? Driving. Bungee jump or skydive? Skydive. Cardio or strength training? Strength training. All right, so that brings me to the end of the interview. That was pretty quick, but I know it's a different situation to have a Zoom interview, but hopefully I can interview you in person soon, but that is the end. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Hold up.